option. Yeah, and today we've got the Arizona Science Center back with us here in studio talking about a really fun experiment it's, that anyone can do. It's been a minute. It has. Welcome back. Thank you. So happy to be back. Thanks yeah. for having me. So uh, you nailed it. We've got Pompeii the exhibition right now. And uh, for those who don't know, Pompeii was covered by Mount Vesuvius in 7980, so almost 2,000 years ago. Wow. And the entire city was lost. So we've been able to have these great conversations about volcanism. And a lot of people know that volcano in Bali right now mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. started to spew ash again yesterday. So there's threat of current times, these big eruptions that could happen. Um, so we came up with the classic throwback, the kitchen DIY I baking soda and vinegar volcano. Kids can do this at home, but make sure you're supervised with an adult. Be very, very careful. Absolutely. Okay. And everything that's here, you can find in your kitchen. Baking soda, vinegar. Um, this is just food coloring. We're using a recycled, um, a small eight-ounce bottle, um, a party hat, which is going to be our volcano, and, of course, measuring cups and spoons, okay. and even a funnel. If you don't have a funnel, a piece of paper will work just fine. Um, you can fold that up. But do you guys want to give it a yeah, try? Yes, please. please. All right, so grab your scissors. Okay. I'm going to arm you. You're going to put that bottle. Uh, you, take your bottle and put it right in the center just so it's nice and centered on your tray. Okay. And you're going to cut about a third off the hat, like two and a half inches. They're cut so that top right to off. Colors. And it's so easy. That gives you your volcano shape. And you're going to put it right over top oh, of your bottle. To you might need a little, 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 little lower. This is a test on your cutting skills. Is that okay? Everybody. Oh, that's perfect. Uh -huh, perfect. She got it. Excellent. All right, so the next Mine's step, do you want to take you want me to help you? <laughs> Got it. But that's creative. That it's has in your water. water. shape to oh, it. It's in your oh, water. It's okay. It's right. It's all right. Okay. It'll be okay. fine. Okay. That's vinegar, too. You're okay, gonna funnel. Now. Oh, oh. Now you're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take your funnel and put it right into your uh, bottle there. Okay. And next funnel. thing is your measuring spoon. How I'm much do we fly for you. How much do we want? You're going to put about two tablespoons. It doesn't have to be perfect. Load it doesn't it have to be gonna, level. Is this going to start blowing up? Do we need to step back? Um, It'll be a little ex not explosive. It's going to have a little bit of energy to it, but okay. you're going to be okay. We're keeping this kind of small so that we stay clean, but at home we challenge everybody to see get, how they can make it bigger or better. Get crazy. Yeah, get crazy. Two get, of these. Get big. Two tablespoons Roughly of baking soda. Two tablespoons soda. of baking soda. Okay. So we're going to put that down. The next thing, we're going to take our food coloring, okay. put a couple drops into what the you big have? I'm red. Everybody's red. Everyone's it's red. Everyone's red. Okay. Where do we put it? In the uh, vinegar in your big measuring cup. How much vinegar drops. is in here? Right now there's a half a oh. cup because we're getting crazy. Oh. A quarter cup would Did work. Did you see Ty? Did oh, you got real red on there. Sorry. So lots of dark lava for you. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. So then okay. the next thing we're going to do, okay. we're going to take our big measuring cup and you're going to dump all of it. Oh, you can take your funnel right oh. out because otherwise it takes too long. And we're going to dump it all in there at once. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I don't want to get dirty. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> oh, you guys were calm. There you go. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. Oh, my gosh. There you go. And we have our beautiful eruptions. You can Look start how pretty the yours is. Oh, yours is great. Thank you. Lots of red color. I had a pink lava over I here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, and that leads into the conversation that different uh, lavas produce uh, rocks. So okay. over here, I do have, I'm going to move our yep, Facebook let's, Live. Let's Sorry, show Facebook everyone. Livers. So I'm going to have Ty feel this one. Oh, wow. How does that feel? Pretty heavy. And then feel this one. Oh, look at that. So these are both igneous rocks formed from lava. This one is a basalt with wow. um, olivine in it, and this is a pumice. So there's a lot of air in this one that makes it really light, and this one, even for its size, is pretty heavy. So, That's incredible. Uh, this is how we can take the kitchen science experiment and start a whole other conversation with eruption. Very interesting. Neat. How long is the exhibit up for? Until May 28th. So we've got some time, but it's definitely getting busy, and tickets are selling, so we encourage everybody to check it out. How do they science. get tickets? abscience.org. All right, thank you. We'll be right back. Isn't that neat? Yeah.